one of those people that goes over the speed bumps slowly. Just want to get it over with. <laughs> Plus, I'm running late for work. We'll see. It's a mystery. I don't know if I'll get there on time or not. I have about 20 minutes to get there. My back hurts. The body hurts. I'm tired. But it's Monday. October... 25th, the Monday after our studio session for our second album. I didn't do any vocals. I mean, other than the rough tracks, I didn't do any like main vocals that I'm gonna keep. And I'm glad I hadn't planned on it because my throat, something's going on. What's going on with my thyroid? Because that feels a little swollen down here, and it was like really swollen a while ago. It's not so much more swollen, and my voice is like really raspy. And I was singing, even the little parts I was doing, which weren't a lot. It was, it was kind of tough. So definitely concerned I'm gonna get through this album though even if I have to you know piece it out and do three hours at a time I'm not gonna push too hard but for some of the songs like I, I have to get into them and I have to yell them out and scream them out to you know get that feeling so <clears throat> I'm a little worried about that Zach's gonna go in next weekend to do his guitar parts and then I have two weekends where I'm just not gonna be available this November so saw him all three days he was just practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing and it showed because Sunday when he laid down his tracks um Tyler was still doing drums to like 2 2 30 maybe and then Pat finally got in there played one song the electricity went out. There was like a storm outside. So, three o'clock, electricity goes out. We're like, fuck it. It was like right in the middle of a second song. <laughs> Let's go to lunch. We go like th three minutes down the road. We eat. We're back to the studio by 4.30. Starts again. And there's some flickers, you know, like the electricity wants to go out again. This time it flickered enough to turn off the computer. That happened like twice, I think. But ultimately he finished all his parts by 7.30. That's not bad. Okay, that's really good. Three and a half, four hours maybe, but with all 
the complications we were having, I'm gonna say three. He pretty much did like nine songs in under four hours. Good job, Pat. And he was so nervous and he looked, turned around and he was like, is it good? You know, is it good enough? We're like, dude. He's like, do you like it? Like, do you like it? You know, it's your part. Do you like it? He's <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, then you're done. Good job, you know. This first time in the studio, I was super nervous. And Cody, the engineer, was like, this is not his first time. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it is. No way. And then he said, you guys are way too hard on yourselves. And I agree. Yeah. We are. <laughs> we are, and I don't think that's going to change. <laughs> and that's why Pat fits in, because he's hard on himself, too. <laughs> But I, maybe we need to chill the fuck out because we we are so fucking serious that it's that we're arguing. <laughs> like that's that's not fun. So studio time wasn't that fun this time. I mean, it wasn't that fun last time either. Like it's just not that fun. I mean, it's fun when you're recording your parts, but. If there's bickering and arguing or, you know, in our case, someone not wanting to do their part right away and prolonging the situation or wanting to change parts or just not wanting to stick to the schedule, you know, it creates conflict. And the last time we were in the studio, there was a, there was a bit of conflict too. But this time, there was some some yelling and arguing, you know. There was no punching or fighting, but had we not all been, like, willing to communicate, even if it was through frustration and, like, raising our voice a little. It wasn't, like, screaming and yelling, you know. Like, we don't yell at each other, but this was the, the most that we have ever done. This was the, the heated, the most heated that we have ever gotten with each other. And it could just be the nerves, all that we've put into this album for the last fucking almost three years that we've been working on it. And then doing nothing but working on it during COVID and then finally getting to a point where we're going to record it and still arguing about parts of the song that we don't want to change or that we want to change. <sighs> and, uh, it was frustrating for sure. And my throat's dry, so. If you watched my last video previous to this one, I woke up Friday pissed off already. You know, like, I don't know if that set the tone for the whole weekend, but I actually was in a pretty good mood. You know, I woke up pissed off, yes, but I got through that. I got over that. pissed me off <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> he just has a way of just saying things and just pissing me off. <laughs> and he doesn't even know what he's doing and that pisses me off even more. But I'm not mad. I'm, I'm mostly just really annoyed in those moments that can't understand where I'm coming from. I completely understand where he's coming from, but he doesn't understand where I'm coming from. And that might be a processing thing, like we process things differently or we need to be communicated with differently. And it happens a lot too with Zach and Tyler too. It's not just me. Pat doesn't really say a whole lot. But he's been trying to hold back his, uh, I think, thoughts and feelings.
feelings because he knows he has a temper. So we all know that. He's told us. We don't push him to do anything, but he does speak up when he needs to. So we're not done with the album yet. I don't know when I'll get back to doing my vocals, but Cody's pretty cool. known him for a while and just schedule time when we need to. Who knows when this album will be ready. But it's gonna sound really fucking good when it is. I'll tell you that. Now I was thinking when I was upset night and by the morning I was fine. I don't stay mad. I like process things. I think about them. I wonder why. And I kept wondering what am I learning from this? What am I learning from this? And when I get to the point where I'm like, no, nope, I'm not learning from this. What am I teaching? What are they supposed to be learning from this? You know? And it all boils down to compromise. We're a team. We gotta compromise. This is like our little business. We're not all gonna get our way. And I think that's an issue for some people when they don't get their way. They don't know how to handle it. I'm kind of used to not getting my way. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll like say what I want. I'll be sarcastic about it. If someone like throws in my face about what they want, then I'll kind of like, you know, step up a little like, maybe I should be a little more forceful with what I want too. You know, like they got their way. Let me try to get my way. But then I always end up backing down. <laughs> it's so frustrating. There are very few times when I just won't back down, but yeah, it's not very often. I just go with the flow. <clears throat> Gonna stop talking now. My voice is tired. <laughs> 